Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft LAN Party. 1.15 I lost my clock. Oh man. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, let's get these golden carrots and pick this up. Okay, so I am totally not prepared for this. How do I make a clock? I've got I've got all the stuff I need for it, right? It's gold and redstone, I think. Iron maybe? Uh, I have I have gold. Let's take a block of gold. I have I have iron. I got plenty of iron, and then redstone I keep in here. Let's get some redstone. No clock. I'll convert the gold into ingots, and. Oh, clock. There we go. Thank you. I can tell what time it is when I'm inside. Very important. All right. Okay, so... Oh, and that's the other thing I need to do. How do I make a campfire? I know there's a campfire over by the labyrinth. I can pick that up. But it's a bunch of like wood planks, I think. Let me go look it up. Okay. We should be able to do this and make a campfire. Right. Um. I thought that's what the recipe said. Stick, coal, charcoal, any log or stripped log, or any wood is stripped, oh, logs. Oh, goodness, I made a grave mistake. Um, okay. Let's get some logs. I don't have enough, a large enough collection of wood. I usually just grow one of these giant spruce trees and chop it down whenever I need wood. Um, and I had a whole stack of it there, but I, I assumed I needed planks. Just incorrect. Let's get some leaf blocks while I'm here. Okay. Oh, I got more leaf blocks. So, the server has been upgraded to 1.15.2. Um, I could leave some of these to despawn so I get some saplings. Uh, and what I need is, I think, new terrain in order to be able to find a, a bee's nest. Yeah, so now I should be able to take spruce logs and some coal and some sticks. Ah, make a campfire or a bunch. Okay, I'm good with that. There we go. Cool, so I have leftovers that I can stick in here. And I've got all kinds of law. I've got all kinds of planks now that I don't necessarily need at the moment. And then I've got a bunch of sticks. And we'll put the sticks up here. Cool. Oh, uh, saplings. I need saplings. All right. I took off my uh, my armor, my chest plate, in order to put on my Elytra. 
Good. Keep that in mind. Campfire will be helpful for pacifying the bees if I manage to find some. Ideally, I'd be able to go out and do these planes that aren't that far away. But I, I think the bees' nests are generated at train generation. So they won't retroactively just appear. They won't spawn. Let's put it that way. Oh, they fixed that. So it used to be coming out of the portals. It kind of re reoriented you a bit. I should probably go back to my base and check something else first. But if I go down here, let's go out. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be far enough. I think I need to go out to... Oh, the terrain that generated for 1.13. Um, but we can do a little exploration here. If this is at all uh, productive, then I can dig down this way and just build another portal down that way. 100 blocks or so. I have no idea what time it is outside. Ah, uh, it's sunset. It's getting dark. So let's sleep. Oh, respawn point set. That's new. Uh, and you can do that at night now. You don't have to... Hi, campfire. Um, you can do that... Oh, hello. Huh. You need to light up that part of the forest a little bit, I think. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So in theory, if I come out over this way, oh, is that the village that the pillager raid was? I haven't heard back yet. I don't know for sure, but I think the, the pillagers that were hoarded up over here. Oh, there's another one. <gasps> Should I go get him? He's got a banner. Nah, we'll save it for later. Uh, so I think maybe these pillagers, that's a, a raid patrol. And they might be spawning in because of that village. And part of the plan was to leave this, this labyrinth, you know, in spots at least dark. So that you could run into, into monsters. So that could actually be a useful thing. All right, so let's, so the idea is that we could come out into an area out over here. Ideally, I'd be able to come out over here and find a bee's nest out over this way. Uh, but I think, I think I do need new terrain to do it. There's a well there. That's interesting. Let's, uh. And this whole area probably has been explored to death. But I'm going to go a little bit and see if we find something. A uh, flower forest would be ideal. Uh, certain types of plains will work. The savanna will not. And I may not find a bee's nest right away. But it would be nice to get one so I can get some bees and bring it back to the, uh, to home. And then start breeding bees. Because it would be nice to have bees and honey. A honey block is kind of a cool block. Um, and the honey bottles, as I said, they get rid of poison without getting rid of, um other status effects so if you've got strength or uh regeneration fire resistance whatever uh oh oh this is pretty some cold biomes action this is nice so yeah if you've got you know your fire resist on or you've got strength or regen or whatever and you get poisoned. If you drink the milk, you lose all of it. 
Oh, wow. It's an ice village. That's cool. Oh, let's see if this is a new village. I should be able to tell that. I like that they have igloos. For houses. Let's get out of five here. Bed. There's an iron golem here already. That's cool. So be careful. Oh, fletching table. So this is this is a new village. Oh, a wild cat. Hi, kitty. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to startle you. Very cool. I see flowers over there. I picked up something. Snowblock. Oh, snowblock. That's cool that you can find that in the... Uh, and the th oh, neat. So they've got a little furnace. And they're using little stone fences there as an exhaust pipe. That's cool. Cool. Um, I see flowers over there. And look, I can walk. Wait. I heard creepy breathing. Snow bunnies. And we are in snowy tundra. So there happen to be flowers, but it's not a flower forest. Hey, buddy. Interesting. Okay, so that that is a new village. Did I capture the coordinates of that? I probably did, but let me just do it again. Okay. And continue on our way. I see flowers and trees and horses. So this is a plains. And I believe this is the other type of biome. Actually, is this a flower forest? This is plains. And this is the other biome that the bees can generate in. So let's keep an eye on the time. It's still early, it's noon. Um, and let's just go wandering through this little forest and see if we happen to spot any bees. Uh, I have a bed in my pocket so we can set up camp for the night if we need to. Hi, sheep. Ah, and we have a sheep so we can make them, we can make another bed. We can set up a permanent bed situation here. Okay. Horses. Oh, somebody pointed out. Um, who was it? It was Fog's World. Pointed out that, uh, as he was wandering around looking for bees nests, he was kind of surprised that for an update that was entirely focused on nothing but this one new feature, bees, that they weren't a little bit more common. And I'm, I, I'm, I started to understand what he meant. But let us continue. A lot of trees here and I haven't looked at all of them yet. And I keep seeing these branches because the tree generation is different, isn't it? I think it is. I keep seeing these end of branches, these logs and thinking that, oh, is that a bee's nest? But no, it's not. And I should probably put flowers on the bar so that if I do happen to spot a bee, they will, they will like me or they will follow me around. Um, 
and presumably I would actually spot bees flying around if I come across any. I heard a noise. But I have yet to see any. Yeah, see, like, from over here, that looks like it could be a bee's nest, but it is not. It's a branch. Because the tree generation is different now. Is that still planes over there? I have to start worrying about getting to sleep. Oh, and I have to update the... Oh, just chickens. Still on planes? Yes. I have to update the uh, the data packs, the multiplayer sleep data pack. Um, stopped working in 1.14. So, presumably it will not work in 1.15 either, so I need to go find an update for it. It's a very handy thing on a server, and it's something that uh, you would think that Moyang would have built into server functionality by now. The notion that everybody in the world has to go to sleep at the same time is a little bit ridiculous. But I can understand not necessarily wanting one person to sort of wreck everything for everyone if everyone's trying to sleep, uh, trying to stay up late. I don't know. Oh, spiders. I hear spiders. That's Savannah over there. Are we in? We are still in planes. Okay, this is a good size planes biome. So that's good. Okay, let's, um, it's starting to get dark and I hear a beastie over there. Let's go put down our bed. Whoa. I hear... I hear nasties. Let's get away from them. Because they won't let me sleep if they're too close anyway. Oh, shoot. Zombie sleep he's wearing fancy pants did he drop anything other than experience and some zombie flesh no okay I, there's some caves right down there, aren't there? Okay, let's uh, keep keep traveling and see if we can come up with some some bees. See more flowers over there. I don't want to be wandering too quickly through here because I might miss something. Might not see a bee's nest. Because there might not be bees flying around. It might be too early in the day. Oh. <sighs> More flowers, but this is still planes biome type generation. I should double check to make sure that they actually do generate in planes, but I believe they do. See, lots of flowers for the bees to come out and pollinate and do their thing. But I'm just not seeing any bees. Oh, 
Oh, it's a neat little structure here. Oh. Okay. That looks like Taiga over there, but we'll go take a look anyway. Because I see plenty of flowers over here yet. And these are these new trees that have the little branches. It's gonna make farming these a lot more complicated. Huh. Oink. Okay. So this looks like taiga. It is. This might still be planes over here. Jay said to a taiga. Here's the here's the bio line here. Huh. Oh, I hear there's a cave down there. Oh, I see something. I hear a baby zombie. Let's get to high ground. Okay, that looks like more planes over there, so I will head that way. Yeah, this is Taiga, so let's skirt around the edge of the Taiga. Cave down there. Oh. Um, that's weird. I mean, it's not weird that there's a tree on fire. It's next to a lava pool. But the fact that there's stone generated in the air, that's a little weird. Your footsteps, it's probably just the cows. And the sheep eating... And it's still early. So it's still planes. So one possibility is that although that was that village that I came across that I checked the ice village, that was a new village on uh, the village and pillage update village. Um, it could have been that it got generated then, and the load lag that I was seeing was actually just uh, converting to 1.15 chunks. I don't know if that's a thing. I know it was a it was a big thing on the 1.13 update. It took chunks forever to load. I was probably just another branch. Yeah, it's just another branch. This tree generation is weird. Am I still in planes? No, I'm in a forest now. Okay. Well, I think we are not going to find bees super quickly here. So let me... Looks like more planes over there. Um, so I'm going to call it for now. I will. I have a bunch. I've recorded a bunch here, and I've got some editing to do. And I want to get a get an episode uploaded today. So I'm going to call it for now. I'm going to stay out here. Out um, and. Continue exploring. I should build myself a little oh, neat. I should build myself a little hidey hole. 
uh, so that if I log back in, it's the middle of the night. I don't have to worry about beasties and such. Uh, and then I'll continue exploring. Um, I need to do, I do need to go back home at some point. I need to kit back up. Oh, there's another village. Let's see if that's a new generation village. And then I'll call it an episode. Certainly flowers here, so there could be bees. And it would be nice if they added a beekeeper, an apiary, api apiarist, I don't know what you call it, villager type profession. Uh, it'd be nice if the villages, if the villagers could actually spawn bees. Oh, there's some pumpkins. Um, and that could be another source. Like, even if you go collect the bees, the villagers can make more bees. Hello. Yeah. Emeralds. Neat. Acacia sapling. Those are hard to come by. <laughs> Bread. Never mind me. I'm just stealing all your stuff. It's getting dark. Oh, there's a kitty. There's a cat. Hey, kitty. And I don't see a profession in here. Looking for workstations. That's pretty much like the villages generating with workstations. Oh, baby villager. Uh, that's kind of my sign that this is would be a new gener a new village. Is that smooth? Wait, is that smooth stone? It is smooth stone. Okay, that has to be new. I mean, this has to be a 1.15 village because smooth stone didn't exist before. I mean, we called stuff smooth stone, but it wasn't actually smooth stone. Or the game didn't call it smooth stone. Hey, baby. Oh, okay. You can do that. Kitties all over the place. Oh, and here's a smoker. Okay, so this is a new village. This has to be a 1.15 village. So this is new terrain. It's getting, starting to get late. I will find one of these places here. Oh, wow. Lectern. Uh-oh. Um... Oh, this is bad. Okay. Um, why is there no bed here? Why is there carpet? Carpet is purely decorative. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to put down this bed and I am going to sleep here tonight. And then I will come back later and we will continue to on our quest for bees. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. Did I already steal your stuff? Yes. Uh, and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.